Morning brothers and sisters, welcome to the minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is the feast of the Holy Innocents, Martyrs. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who crowns with joy these children who died for him. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who crowns with joy these children who have died from him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who crowns with joy these children who died for him. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who crowns with joy with these children who died for him. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who we crowns with joy, these children who died for Him. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenge me and provoke me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who comes with joy, with his children who died for him. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who comes with joy, with his children who died for him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the newborn Christ, who comes with joy, his children who died for him. Please be seated. Clothed in white robes, they will walk with me, says the Lord, for they are worthy. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. These children cry out their praises to the Lord. By their death, they have proclaimed what they could not preach, with their infant voices. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. You waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. 
All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Raise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. From the mouths of children and babies at the breast, you have found praise to foil your enemies. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crossed the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, grant, we pray, that the faith in you which we confess with our lips we also speak through our manners of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in Him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with Him, while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as He is in light, then we have fellowship with one another and the blood of His Son, Jesus, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and bless us and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, 
and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the forest snare. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord has said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered a massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what has been said through the Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentations, racial weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please visit it. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at maligayang pagdating po dito sa simbahan ng Manawag. Ngayong araw po nito, ating in inaalala yung mga batang namatay sa kamay ni Herod. Si Herod na puno ng takot, na puno ng kasakiman, na puno ng ganid sa kapangyarihan ay nagawang ipapatay ang mga bata dalawang taon pababa. Dahil sinabi ng mga mago ng mga mejay na isang hari ang isinilang at takot siya. Takot si Herod. Baka mapalitan siya agad. Baka mawala ang kapangyarihan. Kaya't gusto niyang puksain o patayin 
yung batang isinilang na magiging hari. Bakit kaya ganun, no? May mga taong ayaw pa kawala ng kapangyarihan kaya't nakakagawa ng masama, ng hindi maganda, ng hindi mabuti, to the point na ikamamatay ng iba. At okay lang sa kanila. Si Jesus ang punteria. Si Jesus ang dapat mawala. Si Jesus ang dapat mamatay. Pero kung mamamatay si Jesus, paano tayo magkakaroon ng buhay? Paano na? Ano nang mangyayari sa mga sinabi ng mga propeta? Ang mga nakasulat sa kasulatan. Paano na ang pangako ng Diyos? Paano na? Kaya doon pumasok yung mga bata. Hindi man sila nakapagpahayag na si Jesus ay Diyos. Pero sa bawat iyak, sa bawat sakit na kanilang natamo, they proclaim that Jesus is Lord. They proclaim and confess that Jesus is the Savior. Sa bawat pasakit na kanilang nararamdaman, sa bawat dugong lumalatay sa kanilang katawan, they suffered instead of Jesus. They died instead of Jesus so that Jesus might fulfill what was told by the prophets, what has been promised by the Lord God. Sila yung namatay nang sa gayon, si Jesus ay makapagbigay ng buhay. Kung titingnan po natin ang ating buhay, marami pong herod sa ating buhay. Yung mga tao that they want to pull you down. Yung mga taong galit sa inyo. Yung mga taong naiinggit sa inyo. May mga taong gusto kayong siraan. May mga taong gustong kunin ng lahat kung anong meron ka. May mga tao na gagawin ang lahat para ikay madapa. But there will always be people who will suffer with you. Hindi nga lang basta-basta ng suffer with you but they will suffer instead of you. Sige na ako na. Uunin ko na yung sakit. Ako na. Puprotektahan kita sa anumang masama. Ako na. Para saan? Nang sa gayon, makamit mo, mapuntahan mo, makuha mo, kung anong gusto mo sa buhay. Tingnan niyo po yung mga magulang ninyo. It is not every day that they will tell you how much they love you. Hindi araw-araw. Hindi araw-araw sinasabi nilang mahal kita anak. Pero araw-araw, ipinapakita nila kung gano'ng kanila ka mahal anak. Araw-araw, Simula pagising hanggang pagtulog mo. Sino mag-aalaga sa iyo? Sino magsasakripisyo para sa iyo? Sino magtitimpla ng gatas mo? Sino magtatrabaho para sa iyo? Sino magpapaaral sa iyo? Sino magbibigay ng luho mo? Sino magsasakripisyo para sa iyo? Tino ninyo mga asawa ninyo. Sino nagsasakripisyo? Kasi baka mamaya niyan, puro ka lang pasarap. May asawang nagmamahal sa iyo kahit na hindi araw-araw sinasabing mahal kita. Pero gumagawa sila ng paraan 
para mabuhay kayo. nag effort yan. Umiiyak yan. Dahil minsan napapagod na. Umiiyak yan sa sulok kasi minsan hindi na nila alam kung anong gagawin. Pero ayaw nilang ipakita sa inyo. Tingnan ninyo yung mga kaibigan ninyo. Sa mga pagkakataong wala kang pera, sinong magpupuntahan mo? Ipambabaya din sana nila sa utang yun, pero ibibigay nila sa iyo kasi mas nangangailangan ka. Bakit? Nang sa gayon, makausad ka, malagpasan mo kung ano yung pinagdadaanan mo. They will sacrifice instead of you. Pero sana kung sino man ang nakatanggap ng sakripisyo ng iba, huwag mong sayangin. Kung nakatanggap ka ng pasakit, kung nakatanggap ang iba ng pasakit ng dahil sa iyo at iyong nakita, sana huwag mong sayangin. Kasi mapapagod din sila. Kasi kapag sinayang mo yung mga pagkakataon na gusto nilang ipakita kung gano'ng kanila kamahal. Pero inig sa pera mo. Pero pinabayaan mo. Pero nagpakasasa ka pa rin. Hindi mo man lang inisip o inintindi ang kanilang mga pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Para lamang? Para sa iyo? Kasi aalis sila kapag hindi mo pinahalagahan. Kaya nga nung ganawaan niya ating Panginoong Yesus, sinuklian niya yung iyak ng bawat bata na namatay dahil sa kanya. Sinuklian niya. Papaano? He fulfilled everything what was told by the prophets, what was promised by the Lord. He fulfilled all of them to the point of dying so that people may have lives, may enjoy true life. Sinuklian niya. At hanggang sa dulo, inalala niya yung iyak ng mga batang nagpamatay dahil para sa kanya. Kaya sana sa ating buhay, Kapag nakita natin yung sakripisyo ng iba para sa atin, huwag mong sayangin. Huwag mong sayangin. Na sana makamit at mapuntahan mo rin kung anong gusto mong puntahan. At hindi lang yun, na sana kung anong plano ng Diyos para sa'yo, gawin mo. Dahil kapag hindi mo nagawa, wala ang lahat ng hirap, ang lahat ng sakripisyo ng iba para sa iyo. And by fulfilling your own plan, especially God's dream for you, it is a form of love. Sinusuklian mo ng pag-ibig yung sakripisyo ng iba para sa iyo. Sinusuklian mo ng pag-ibig yung kanilang paghihirap na ginawa para sa iyo. At hindi mo sila kinalimutan hanggang sa dulo. Sa bawat iyak na inyong makikita sa mata ng mga tao dahil sa iyo, sa bawat lungkot sa bawat sakripisyo, sana maalala yun ang puso mo at yun ang magiging baon mo para maging inspirasyon na hanggang sa dulo. Makamit mo kung anong gusto mo sa buhay. Na hanggang sa dulo, maalala mo kung anong plano ng Diyos para sa'yo. At kapag naging masaya ka, lahat ng sakripisyo at hirap na kanilang ginawa ay mawawala. Dahil alam nila, 
naging masaya ka, naging maayos ka, naging mabuti ka. Kaya tingnan ninyo na lang yung mga magulang na sa bawat achievement ng kanilang mga anak, sino unang natutuwa? Sila! Dahil nakikita nila yung pagod at hirap, yung pawis, yung kalungutan na kanilang ginawa at inialay ay nagkaroon ng bunga. Nagkaroon ng bunga. Kaya sana yung anak man lang sana. Ialay pabalik kung ano yung kanilang mga nakuha. Nay, medal para sa iyo. Nay, ito yung unang sahod ko para sa iyo. They don't need that. They don't expect that. Pero sana yung bang sense na masuklian mo lamang kahit kunti. Alam mo, hindi sasapat yun kung ano may bibigay mo. Hindi katumbas yun lahat ng mga pasakit nila. Pero sana makabawi man lang. Because alam mo, na isinantabi nila ang mga kasiyahang dapat na itamasa nila para maging masaya ka. Isinantabin nila lahat ng pansariling kaligayahan para maging maligaya ka. Para mapuntahan mo kung saan ka dapat papunta. At yun yung pinapaalala sa atin ng bawat iyak ng mga bata na nagsakripisyo para magampanan ni Jesus kung anong plano ng Diyos para sa Kanya. Kung para sa atin, ano kayong sakripisyong binabaon mo? Ano kaya yung paghihirap ng iba na ibinigay para sa iyo na inaalala mo? Na nagiging inspirasyon mo para magpatuloy sa buhay? Para makamit ang pangarap mo. Para maging mabuti ka. Para maging successful ka. Ano kaya yun? They will cry. They will cry because of joy kapag naging masaya ka. Kapag naging mabuti ka. But they will also cry because of sadness kapag sinayang mo yung sakripisyo na inalay nila para sa iyo. Kaya siguro sa araw na ito, alalahanin mo kung sino at ano yung mga sakripisyo na inalay ng iba para sa iyo para makamit mo yung mga bagay na ikakasaya mo para magampanan mo kung ano yung plano ng Diyos para sa iyo at doon pa lang pag naalala mo pag nasuklian mo kahit papaano Meri na ang Christmas para sa kanila. Merry Christmas po sa inyo. Please stand. Christ our Lord was born into a fallen world. The cruelty which claimed the lives of the holy innocents eventually brought him to the cross. Let us pray for this world, fallen yet redeemed by the sacrifice of innocent love. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ, born as our Savior, may save those yet unborn. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, who is the source of all life, may bring an end to abortion and to all other forms of violence in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may build a society of love and justice based on respect for each and every human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, who sent His Son to save and not to condemn, may touch the hearts of all who have had abortions and bring them the gift of repentance and healing. <laughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promised to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pio Provincial, and for our brothers and ministry at Bahai Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Brother Rolando Granada Opi, who is celebrating his birthday today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the Deophotis and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that all children who have, been, who have been lost by abortion may be received into the eternal dwelling prepared for them in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful and gentle Father, Accept our prayers as we seek to understand the mystery of innocent blood. Help us to look always to your crucified and risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. We may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for on the feast of this awful mystery Though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has began to exist in time, so that, raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation 
and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Pinagpala na ito sa naranap, Panginoon. O sana, o sana, sa kailasan. O sana, o sana, sa kailasan. Please or kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. Cipriano, Rudolfo Alonso, Edgar, Joey, Son, Marcel, and all sorts of people. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakalim sa araw-araw at patawarin mo ang aming mga sala para ng pagpapatawad na Sanagkakasala sa amin At huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso At iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling and body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Bring eternal life to us to receive. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Can us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only share the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe to eternal life.
Please all stand. At the king's command, these innocent babies and little children were put to death. They died for Christ, and now in the glory of heaven, as they follow him, the sinless lamb, they sing forever, Glory to you, O Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has reserved for us a mighty Savior, one of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to serve mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At the King's command, these innocent babies and little children were put to death. They died for Christ, and now in the glory of heaven, as they follow Him, the sinless Lamb, they sing forever. Glory to you, O Lord. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of this your saints, who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo sa man kayo papunta. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.